Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be my first video on The Flash Season 8. Season 7 just ended with the season finale this week, so we gotta talk about the next season, and we've got a lot of stuff to go through in this video because Eric Wallace, the showrunner of the show, did an interview after the finale aired to deal with Season 8. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so, Eric Wallace, he did an interview with Deadline, I'm gonna leave it in the description below, you can check it out. There is actually a lot of stuff in the interview, and I'm gonna split it up over about three videos or so, because I feel like I can talk a lot about these things, and they definitely need to be, like, talked about in detail, so today's video is mainly going to be focused on the future of The Flash and what Eric Wallace had to say about it, also with a couple of other extra points that he brings up throughout the interview. So the first question is this, and this is Deadline talking. Grant Gustin is one of the number of Flash cast members whose contracts end at the end of season 8. Could this mean that the show's upcoming season will be its last? And now Eric Wallace in reply to this said, to be honest, I don't know. Let's all find out together, but until I hear differently, everything's fine. I know that's super vague, but it's just the honest truth, anything can happen in this world. So that was the first thing that Eric had to comment on the future of The Flash, and obviously this is in regards to Grant Gustin and his contract ending at the end of Season 8. And although his answer is very vague, and I feel like he would know, because in this interview he also talks about how he knew about Tom Kavanagh wanting to leave, and Carlos Valdez wanting to leave for a long time, and obviously if Grant wanted to not continue his contract past Season 8, he would have told him already, and he would definitely know, but considering that he says everything's fine right now, and obviously things can change, right? But for now, it's pretty much, yes, we're gonna see more of The Flash, it's not gonna end at the end of Season 8, and it actually continues with another question that came right after this, so Deadline asks, do you have a sense of how much more story there is to tell with the show? And Eric replied with this, I feel this show could run easily for at least several more seasons and possibly beyond. Because I feel like every season we, as a writing staff, have to decide between all the wonderful stories we want to tell versus how many episodes we actually have to tell them. We have so much more that we would love to show the audience and to give them as a thank you for coming along this ride with us, but we just can't get into it. That's why I say there's many more seasons worth of stories to tell, at least from our creative perspective. So this is basically Eric confirming that yes, definitely creatively, they could go on for like at least three more seasons or so, like beyond that even. Like they have the creative ideas behind them and like they have to throw away a lot every season considering like the amount of episodes the CW gives them to tell that story. And so Eric is pretty confident about The Flash continuing. And I think with him stating that the show could easily, and I must highlight the word easily, run for more seasons is pretty much confirmation that yes, they're going to continue, it's gonna go past season eight, Grant is obviously very dependent on because like if he's not there they can't tell the stories they want to tell but Grant is super into the show and he's been very supportive probably the most supportive alongside like someone like Daniel Panabaker who is always tweeting about the show and getting everyone hyped up. So this is very exciting obviously for us Flash fans and because so many people have been like oh like his contract's ending like oh my god the show is gonna end like just wait for the official confirmation, and for now, we can expect at least several more seasons. Like, go in expecting season 8 and probably season 9 is pretty much what I'm getting out of this interview. And also, Grant Gustin has talked about how they've had negotiations to go on for over 9 seasons. Like, he specifically said that as well. So, I don't see why people are thinking season 8 is going to be like the final season. I really don't think it is. But anyway, let's continue, and we got a couple more questions. They're not really directly related to, you know, the future of The Flash, but it is related to Season 8, and they are teasers from Eric. So Deadline also states, Will Season 8 further examine Kristen Kramer following her realization that she's a meta? So Wallace replies to this, You should tune in for that, 
in the first few episodes, you might get an answer right out of the gate, and he laughs at this point. So, that's pretty much confirmation. You're going to be seeing more of Kristen Kramer, at least for the first couple of episodes, and potentially her story gets wrapped up sometime around then. I would probably guess if I was to theorize. And so there is definitely going to be a continuation of that. Also, in this interview, they bring up Iris's time sickness. So it seems that they aren't like going to ignore some of these plot threads that they set up at the end of the season. And there is still lots more to come. And that's going to be coming in season eight. So I would presume you're going to see Kramer for at least like a couple of episodes at the start. We're kind of going to finish that storyline and she's probably gonna go away because she is in a series regular after all, right? And so in regards to Iris's time sickness, this is something that they're also going to be going forward with and they're actually going to be continuing it even though they didn't acknowledge it in the finale. They did shoot a scene but they decided to keep that for season 8 that was confirmed also in this interview and so there is a lot of stuff that is coming that they've set up and so I would expect answers pretty soon if it is something they've set up. Obviously in regards to like Barry and Reverse Flash, that is going to be a bit longer until we get the official like answers. Like, I mean in terms of that, like Reverse Flash coming back and actually being stronger than Barry, that's not gonna happen in the first couple of episodes of the season, but that will happen probably at some point this season, at some point, but we'll have to wait and see when that actually happens. Okay, so let's move on to another question. This comes from Deadline again. Might August Hart, aka Godspeed, return after finding himself locked up in Iron Heights? Wallace replies, yeah. What happened to Godspeed at the end of Season 7's finale was twofold. He was already angry at Impulse, but now because of the Flash's intervention, he has made a mortal enemy of Godspeed. By saving his kid and saving the day, and saving the town at the end of the Godspeed Civil War, Barry made a terrible, terrible enemy in August Heart, and sooner or later, that's going to bite him. So this is exciting news, Godspeed will return at some point, well that is Eric's current plan, obviously as he said earlier in the interview, things could change, but with him being alive and being in Iron Heights, and having Barry as a new enemy, he's bound to return at some point. Now, I'm not saying this is going to happen in Season 8, I think it's a bit less likely that this will happen because obviously they've got to hit other storylines. I think this could potentially be something that we see in like Season 9, where we see the return of Godspeed, it will be a big thing, because now he is sort of like Barry's second biggest nemesis after Reverse Flash, who is still alive. Obviously, Zoom doesn't really exist anymore, and so doesn't Savitar, so there's like him and Reverse Flash, and obviously we're going to have that Reverse Flash storyline, and Godspeed is not as strong as Reverse Flash. However, that's not to say that he couldn't get as strong as him, or as strong as the Flash, because obviously at the end of this finale, it was confirmed that Barry's now faster than Reverse Flash, and he's more powerful, because he was able to go into Flash time and everything. So that was like one big revelation, and somehow at some point, Godspeed's going to come back, and he's probably going to be more OP than he was before, and he will probably have a better plan. I would say if he's going to return, it's going to be more like a two-part episode. I don't think we're going to get like a whole half a season graphic novel on Godspeed again, because they've already done that. And so this is just Eric teasing the possibility of Godspeed returning, because he is locked away in Iron Heights. He has found a new enemy in Barry, and so if Impulse returns at some point, maybe that would be a good time to have Godspeed facing off against the Flash, and you would have these two adversaries, so that being Barry and Bart as well, and you know, maybe that could be how it goes down. But yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you're new to not miss any videos. Also, click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. And for now, go check out the Deadline article and we'll be making lots more videos on what was said in this interview in the next couple of days. So stick around for that, but for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy road.